Hello Aries, how are you guys today? My name is Wastisus. I'm here today with a collective reader for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June of 2024. <clears throat> uh, the chef my cards, bless my cards, and bless my reading. Let's get into it, Aries. So Aries, what I was hearing for you guys was unpredictable. And I feel like there is someone around you that could be very unpredictable. And I was also hearing liar. Unpredictable liar. <laughs> I was hearing them separate, but put it together. That's what they were saying. An unpredictable liar, Aries. So let's see. That's all I was hearing, Aries. I guess we'll get more as I pull some cards. Let's see what's going on for June of 2024. Give me some of the cards, some oracle messages for June of 2024 for Aries. Unpredictable liar. Yeah, Aries, that's all I was hearing. Let's see. Give me some oracle cards. Oracle message. Oracle card. Ooh. We have broken foundation coming out in reverse, Aries. Broken foundation in reverse. Give me some more energy for Aries. And then we have money, money, money. <clears throat> all right, Aries. From what it looks like with the um, Oracle cards alone, it feels like that someone here is trying to fix something. This could be a relationship, Aries. They could be trying to fix a relationship with money or material possessions, Aries. Take the hat. Resonates. This could be the individual that's unpredictable. Um, this person could be very, very uh, what's the word? Materialistic, flashy, Aries. Take the hat. Resonates as well. Or this could be you. If that's not the case at all, Aries, what I'm also getting here is that someone here could be buying a home, building a home. Or some or some foundation is tarnished, is what they're saying, Aries. Let's see. Give us some tarot for foundation card in reverse, broken foundation in reverse with money. Give me some energy for Aries, please. Tarot for Aries. Thank you. We have the four of pentacles coming out. So holding on to something, <clears throat> Aries. You could be holding on to something or someone else could be holding on to something. I got a lot of cards flipped over. Give me some more um, energy for Aries, please. Four of pentacles coming out here. And we have the queen of swords in reverse coming out. All right, Aries. <clears throat> Two things. Like I said, someone here could be very materialistic or someone here could be trying to keep you around, Aries. You could be doing this to someone or someone here could be doing this to you. Trying to keep someone around, trying to make someone wave with their white flag is what I'm hearing out here. Aries, take the hat. Resonates with the Queen of Swords in reverse coming out. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing here. Wave your white flag or someone here is waving their white flag. But it's, it's just so someone here could stay. <laughs> that's why I'm really picking up Aries it's just so someone can stay <clears throat> because that's the broken foundation card in reverse so it means here that someone here could have eventually left this or wants to leave this foundation here it's not working out is what I'm hearing here Aries take this how it resonates someone here could be with someone for money as well take that how it resonates as well yes I want you, I'm here I want you to stay by Rihanna <clears throat> yeah, I know that Rihanna is my divine feminine. Um, yes, four of pentacles, queen of swords, and reverse coming out, Aries. It gives me the energy energy here that someone here just wants someone to be by their side, stay with them, not leave them. <clears throat> I'm also here and spoil them. You could be spoiling someone, Aries, or someone here is spoiling you. Give me some more energy for Aries, please. What is this, Aries? <clears throat> Give me some more energy for Aries, please. And it comes to reverse, yes. <laughs> not walking away emotionally. Three of Pentacles here, but someone here is not satisfied with something. They're not satisfied with how something is going or how someone treats them. I'm definitely getting, I'm hearing Gold Digger, but I'm, de I'm definitely getting here that someone here is with someone for money or someone here wants, it's like buying someone. Thank you. <clears throat> someone here is buying someone. But this person still isn't happy. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck here. Gemini energy. Someone here still isn't happy even though they're being brought. Is what they're saying, Aries. Give me some more energy. What is this? Someone here, ooh, okay. Someone here can't walk away emotionally from something because they're being brought. Because of materialistic things or because of money. I don't, I don't feel like it's a lot of money. <laughs> like, we got the four pentacles, three pentacles. I mean, like, if you want to add it up, it's the seven. So, I guess. I don't know, Aries. Let's see. Give me some more energy for Aries, please. For June of 2024. We got the queen of pentacles in reverse coming out. <clears throat> the four of wands coming out. The three of cups in reverse coming out. So, yes. Oh, Aries. Someone here is not happy in a situa situation or relationship. They're fronted. They're, they're a fraud. <clears throat> 
Three of Cups in Reverse coming out here. Pull on this Three of Cups in Reverse here. Yes, look, the lovers in reverse. <laughs> okay, Aries, this is you or someone else. Put it into perspective. Someone here is either one being brought or someone here is like um staying around for something. If someone here is staying around for something, someone here is like staying around so it could benefit someone, it's not benefiting shit. It's not benefiting anything. I feel like if someone here is even being brought, Aries, they're not being brought for a lot. Right? Um, this could be a situation here that you want to leave, Aries. If this is not you, this could be someone else, right? Someone here wants to leave a situation because they're not getting shit from it. Basically, Aries. Like, that's just what it is. Like, someone here is unhappy. Three of Pentacles out here. Look at her face on the Three of Pentacles. Like, she's very unhappy. She doesn't want to be here. <laughs> like, um, I'm hearing this is baggage. You look at the bag on top of her head. This is baggage. Someone here is holding on to baggage or someone here is holding on to you so they could be your baggage. Is what I'm getting here, Aries. Take this how it resonates um, with the lovers, lovers in reverse out here. It's like um, there's no love in some situation, relationship. It's it's like someone here is fronting. This could be someone here fronting on you, Aries. <clears throat> and when I say that, that could be like you know someone here throwing someone else, else up in your face. Like yeah, bitch, I'm giving this bitch all this money. Da da da. I'm buying her purse. Da da. It is like they're really not buying this person shit. Someone here could be fronting on Instagram, Facebook, or something, some shit like that. They could be fronting with another motherfucker. I don't. Know Aries. If that if the, if it's not them, it's it's some situation that you could be in Aries that where it's like you know, this relationship ain't shit. <laughs> this relationship is not shit. It could be with a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. Give me some more energy for Aries. Some rising and Venus. You could be wondering about someone Aries, and you could be single. You could be wondering about someone else. They're like, well, you know, they they look like they're doing good. No, some relationship out here is not shit. Uh, five of five of wands, me versus coming out i don't feel like there's no conflict or anything it's just someone here is not happy or someone here does not speak up for themselves queen the cups at the bottom of the deck here take it how it resumes aries a water sign could be involved that's why i'm really feeling here ace of wands i'm sorry ace of swords in reverse coming out someone here does not speak up for themselves someone here is like being taken advantage of or something of that nature Right? Take it how it resonates. If someone here is being taken advantage of, someone that out here is paying someone to keep their mouth shut, if that's not the case, then someone out here is paying someone to be like, you know, I'm not taking advantage of you, I pay you. Someone out here is making some shit look good, but it's not good at all. And whoever is involved is noticing this, noticing this. like, you know, this isn't good at all. Three of, three of Pentacles. Pull on the Ace of Swords in reverse. Look, the Ace of Wands in reverse. <laughs> like, Two of Swords in reverse. The Queen, yeah, I keep seeing the Queen of Cups. So there could be a water sign of all. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Cups here. I, I just really hope that like this this is like someone out here fronting Aries. That's why I really hope. If that's not the case, and when I say fronting, I mean as far as like you know someone uh, ex throwing somebody else up in your face or some shit like that. And it's like you know their relationship not really shit because he throwing it up in your face from me da 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 right that whole storyline. If it's not that Aries, I, I truly feel like here that someone here is just in a in a relationship just to say they're in one. Honestly, I feel like you're someone here is just in the situation, the relationship, just to say they're in one. <laughs> because this person, they're not happy with where, where they're at. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I got a lot, a lot of Earth out here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like the only thing I don't really see is air sign. If you want to count the Ace of Swords, then go ahead. But I really don't see air out here. I have all other signs. Oh, wait, no, two of swords, too. So, yeah, it could be air sign. Heavy Gemini. Yeah, what that look? Heavy Gemini. Right? Okay, anyways. But, yes, Aries, I, I truly feel like here that someone here is, like, not speaking up for themselves, letting some shit go on and on and on with a situation that they're not happy in. It's like if someone out here is being um, in, a, in a situation for some money, it's not really a lot of money. Four pinnacles, three pinnacles. It's like, you know, bitch, we got a van <laughs> and we got a, a house over our head with a motherfucking ceiling leaking. That's what it feels like. It's like someone out here is just being someone where it's like, you know, you really don't got to fucking be here. You know that? 
You ever seen those people in those relationships where it's like, you know, bitch, you just here to be here. You don't really got to be with this motherfucker. You don't really like it. It's some shit like that. Um, Aries. So, yes. This could be someone out here that's scared to be alone, scared to be single. This could be someone out here with kids. I really don't see no damn well. If you want to catch the queen of cups, look, she has a, a kid on her lap. This could be someone out here with kids. Whatever the case could be, Aries. But it's like someone out here is like, is just like not happy. Like, what the hell? Give me some more energy, please, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, okay, we got two coming out. We got Divine Feminine coming out, and we got This Shit Is A Mess. Yeah, I told you I was here and stay by Rihanna. Y'all know that Rihanna, my Divine Feminine. Someone here could want you to stay, Aries, but you could be leaving somebody, or you could have already left somebody. Look, take it out, resonates, Aries. Some here can want you to stay. Some here can want you to uh, remain with them, be with them, chase after them. Take care how it resonates. But I feel like if, if if there is someone out here that's chasing after you, Aries, and wants you to be with them, this motherfucker don't got shit to offer. It look like, I'm hearing it look like a lot, but it's really not. Someone out here is tricking people, bamboozling people. <laughs> that's, not, that's not funny, but yes, Aries. Tricking people, bamboozling people, like, you know. Like, Mitch, you said that you had a yacht, a boat. <laughs> like, it could be a liar. Look, I told y'all I was hearing a liar. It could be a liar out here, a liar. Someone out here that's, like, that says they have money, that says they could provide, that says they could keep a roof over your head or some shit like that. It feels like a trick. <clears throat> be careful, Aries. Mm -mm. Clarify Divine Feminine with some... Uh, what is that called? I always forget the name to my cards. Anyways, put one on Divine Feminine <laughs> put with the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. The, you know the Ten of Swords in reverse for me is like, you know, something not being all the way over. Right? It's like, you know, it's not the final death. Right? That's how it feels here with the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands is my impulsive card. Be careful of impulsive, impulsively taking a leap of faith to, to this. Ooh, Aries, yes. Be careful of taking a leap of faith with someone, a person, a place or a thing. Someone that say they got you, they'll be there for you or some shit like that, Aries. And it turns into the five of pentacles. Yes. This feels like a, a, a trickster, a magician, a bamboozler. That's what they're saying, Aries. This is a this is an individual that says, yeah, come, come stay, come move in, and, and then they trap you. That's what it gives, Aries. I don't know. This this could have been me pre predicting the future with some relationship out here, Aries. Just be careful. Five of Pentacles out here. Yeah, I'm picking up on domestic violence. Um, Aries, you know how those situations be where they court you and, uh, you know, and all that other bullshit and they start hand on you, right? I'm picking up on that as well. That could be someone's, uh, that could be someone's situation out here, Aries. Take the high resonance. Um, and they keep you with money or trap you with money, children or some shit out here like that, Aries. Be careful. I'm hearing foreseen. Every time I keep looking at this card because I forgot what I named it, I, I keep hearing foreseen or seen, foreseen. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying to me. Foreseen energy, foreseen insight. Give me some more energy for the light. Amen. Thank you, the moon card. Thank you, the tower card. Thank you. The Ten of Cups coming out sideways. I'm going to put it upside down. Thank you. This is the Five of Swords in Reverse. All right, Aries. The Moon card, Tower card, Ten of Cups in Reverse with the Four of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, um, Aries, before you take a leap of faith with anything or it's tell someone yes to any, this could be like yes to marriage, yes to moving in together, yes to this, yes to that. Be careful that you inspect this person thoroughly. That's what they're saying here with the Moon card. She's inspecting this crab in this card with the Tower card. Be careful because some of you have discernment, intuition, Aries, of, of things that you should deal with and what you should not deal with. I feel like there's a situation out here when someone here is prettying something up Aries and this could be an offer towards you they're trying to pretty an offer up towards you Aries and it's just like uh 
you, you could be telling this person, I think about it or some shit. Like, this could be a, a pyramid scheme or some shit. Or it could, this could be a scheme with a relationship. Someone here being unhappy, trapped, disaster type energy out here. Not speaking up for themselves. Discernment going away. Intuition going away. Be careful of mixing yourself up with a person, a plot, a theme, a scheme, whatever it is. Right, um, Aries? Be careful of that. With the moon card and the um, tarot card out here. I'm definitely going towards relationship. That's what it feels out here. Someone here is putting some offer up for you, Aries, to make you um say yes to it. And then when you, once you say yes to the dress, you don't want that shit no more. Um, be careful, Aries. Yeah, I'm here to inspect their gadget. Yes, inspect something. Six of Swords coming out. The Sun card coming out. New beginnings. Aries, if this is a situation that you could already be in, where someone out here finding out that their partner could be a fucking bum, if not a bum, just someone here they did not claim to be, right? Take it how it resonates. It, it resonates. If you're already in a situation like that, Aries, we got the Six of Swords, the Sun card, the Strength card, and the Two of Cups. I feel like you're that. Look, I don't know. If if someone's partner isn't like um a bum, let's not let's not even use the bum word. Let's just say someone here who they did not claim to be. Um, th this person is a whole different individual, and I'm talking about a relationship here. When you get with this person, settle settle in with this person. This person flips the script. Rather, it's with their money. Rather, it's with their um character. Um, um like I said, unpredictable um energy out here, liar energy out here. Take it how it resonates, right? Um, Aries. I feel like you're, listen, if that shit works out for you, then it works out for you. Look, I can't tell no one what to do. But I also see a situation here, um, Aries, with the Six of Swords Sun card. You have better things to, um, you know, keep in mind is what they're saying here, Aries. Right? Take the high resonance with the Strength card and the Two of Cups here. Put on the Two of Cups test. That's soulmate energy. I feel like you're that. Some of, you, some of your soulmates could be a Leo. Um, some of y'all can just be with the wrong damn person. Because I feel like this is a Gemini over here. Y'all know Gemini is unpredictable and shit. <laughs> I feel like that this is a Gemini over here. So, yeah. So, we could be out, out here with the wrong person. Another thing, Aries, if that this if this is not you, whereas like like I said, someone here could be throwing someone up in your face, right? This this your ex that's uh throwing you know karma chameleon up in your face and shit, and their relationship ain't shit. Like it's literally not shit. Some of you could be going towards someone else, right? You could be having another soulmate out here with the strength card, two of cups, nine of pentacles out here. Something better is what they're saying. They say they keep saying something foreseen. So some of you could have dreamed about this person. Take the hand resonates. <laughs> Dreamed about this individual, right? You could be de dealing with some devil um, energy Aries um, as far as the obsessions, addictions, and things of that nature. Um, Aries, if you're going through something as, you know, as in the first storyline I said, <laughs> right? Where someone here gets with someone and it's not pretty, it's not good, right? <laughs> All right, two more cards, two more Oracle cards, and then we can move on. Give me two more Oracle cards for Aries. Now, give me two more Oracle cards for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got Wham, 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 Bitch, I'm the Baby. And then we got the person that snitches. That's like my snitch bitch card, but it came out in reverse here. So that's like your, keep it, your secrets are safe with me type shit. <clears throat> Some of y'all could be going through a domestic violence situation because I'm picking up on J-Lo with enough. Like, <laughs> it's not funny, but some of y'all could definitely be going through a situation where it's like, I got to get the fuck away from somebody. Some of you could definitely be going through a situation like that. And I'm not saying it's intense as the movie enough, but some of y'all could be going through some shit where it's like, you know what? I got to weigh out my options. I got to get the fuck away from whoever this is. King of Swords, Mini Birds. I'm telling you, it feels like an air sign. Yeah, look, and this is y'all. Look. Queen of Wands, Aries. Mm -hmm. It feel like an air sign that some of y'all got to get away from, or some or, uh, spirit guides, ancestors telling y'all to get get the fuck away from somebody. <clears throat> this a trickster, a magician, someone out here that traps people. Yeah, um, Aries. Some of y'all laid up with somebody like that. <clears throat> some of y'all laid up with a liar. Is what they're saying, Aries. An unpredictable liar. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Give me some more for Wham 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 Bitch on the Baby. Which your secrets are safe with me or kept with me. Okay, we got one coming out. Ooh, no stuffy. Judgment in reverse coming out with the King of Cups. 
with the star card in reverse. And you guys, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but what they're saying right here is that someone here tries to help someone. Help someone get away from somebody, help someone break up with somebody, whatever the case could be. This could be a father figure. King of Cups coming out here with the Ace of Cups. This could be someone's grandfather, a father, just a masculine energy in general. Help someone get away from someone or pack their things or go towards someone else or someone else or something else. Take it how it resumes. This is unpredictable uh, with the star card in reverse coming out here. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it's unpredictable, but it's like uh, I'm hearing in a rush, in a hurry. Like no one expected this. Yeah, somebody out here getting the fuck away from somebody. Rather, it's just by internet, block, mute, <laughs> right? Rather, it's by the internet or it's actually someone packing their shit and leaving the Aries. Take this how it resonates. Your secrets are safe with me. Someone here holds a secret for someone or someone here helps someone. Could be an Aquarius. Yeah, Seven of Wands Universe coming out. Yeah, that's like my giving up card. Mm hmm not fighting for something anymore eight of, eight of swords reverse coming out here getting out of a mental entrapment yes yes you guys someone here is like getting out of, out of some relationship rather it's emotional abuse domestic violence mental abuse whatever it could be look money abuse look this could be someone out here holding somebody fucking money hostage right it could be money abuse take it how it resonates but somebody getting the fuck away from someone someone here was laid up with an unpredictable liar that's what they're saying or someone's husband was an unpredictable liar ex-husband ex-boyfriend take it how it resonates but like i said someone out here leaving hitting hitting the dodge pulling this is eight of swords reverse Thank you. I'll take this one. Yeah, the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. One says Five of Cups. Thank you. Justice. Look, look at that. Libra energy. At the bottom of the deck, the Ten of, the ten of um, Pentacles here with the Six of Wands. Moving forward. Yeah, it's Nine of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Yeah. Um, someone out here could be dealing with a Leo. Or someone here has heavy Leo in their chart. Or well, look, Aries, Leo, Sag, right? This is a whole bunch of golden energy out here. So yes, Aries, if you're dealing with a situation like that... And it doesn't just have to be abuse. It can be something where it's just like, you know, it's not for me, right? It doesn't have to be abuse, but it can be something where it's just like, you know, it's not for me. I don't like to deal with this, whatever the case could be, right? Just something of that nature, right, Aries? Um, yes, getting getting out of Dodge, getting, getting away from somebody, saying no more. I feel like here that's what someone's here going through, Aries, because someone out here traps somebody. <laughs> yes, rather this is you, Aries, or someone else. Somebody out here traps somebody, trapped them with money, false hope, um, false security, all of that. All of that, Aries. All right, Aries, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave it right there, Aries. So you let me know in the comments what's going on. Right? Let me know what's going on. Anyways, it's your girl with Tisus. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Love you lots. Bye.